Some watches tell time, while some watches mark history. One such timepiece belonged to Mahatma Gandhi. Known for his punctuality, it is no surprise that amongst his meager prized possessions was his silver pocket watch. Gifted to him, the pocket watch was an inseparable companion. To his great regret, it was stolen from him during a train journey to Kanpur. But fortunately, the thief was filled with guilt and remorse and returned it to him six months later while begging his forgiveness. This anecdote about his watch was shared by Gandhi in his journal. Have I got you wondering about the brand that this pocket watch was manufactured from? Gandhi's pocket watch was manufactured by a watch brand named Zenith. When the pocket watch was stolen, Gandhi made an entry in his journal on 20th May 1947, stating that the pocket watch had a radium disc and functions for an alarm. Interestingly, the Zenith pocket watch costed Rs 40 at that time. Welcome back to a new episode on Lux Insider with me, your host Anita Khatri. This week's episode is about Zenith timepieces. The brand's special history with India you just heard from me. But its current business plans for India and the new launches from its Defy collection were all shared with me by Benoit the Clerk, CEO of Zenith Watches. I have known Benoit for a long time and it felt good sitting down to understand how the brand has fared in India as well as his personal style tips to pair timepieces. When one thinks of Zenith watch, first thing that comes to a watch enthusiast's mind is El Primero, the chronograph icon. But this year, the novelties were from the Defy collection, which were multifunctional timepieces. I understood why these are the brand's best sellers, and if you stick with me on this episode, you will know why too. Let's begin. Thank you, first of all, Beno, to give us time on Lux Insider and uh, talking about India. But before we go to India, Zenith. This is a new hat that you're wearing. Absolutely. Yeah. How does it feel? And uh, I mean to say, yeah, how does it feel? First of all, welcome Anita to Zenith. Welcome to India. India, welcome to Zenith as well. We're happy to have you. Thank you very much. And feeling is great. You know, Zenith is a beautiful brand. It's a brand that has a lot of history, a lot of authenticity. And uh, it's a very beautiful brand supported by a great team, supported by, uh, by great products. And so far, so good. Your mission? My mission is to continue what has been done, to improve it, to make it better. But definitely, I have no intention to break what has been produ- what has been done in the past. What uh, Julien has done in the past is the right formula, the right thing, and I will follow through and to make sure that we continue the momentum. Of course, I will add my little uh, my little uh, touch, my uh, little improvement, and all that. But we will continue on the same way. You know, we have a strategy. The strategy is right, and I'll continue within the same uh, the same strategy. But with the given scenario that Swiss watch exports have been the highest to last year, and everybody has uh, really been grateful for the year that it has been, do you feel that we this moment, which is upward moment, continues, or do you how how you prepare for the next two years? Maybe listen, you know the the brand has been doing well. Uh, this year is a good year as well. Of course, we all read the newspaper and we know what's going on in the world. But so far, we are in good shape. You know, the beauty of Zenith is that we are strong in the Americas. We are strong in Europe and Middle East and we are strong. So it's equally proportionate. So uh, if one market specifically does not do very well, the other will uh, will cover. And this is what's happening uh, today. So in, uh, in Japan, we're doing extremely well. In Southeast Asia, we're doing uh, very well. India is a very important market for us and it's doing very well as well. So is the Middle East. Europe, uh, you have markets doing better than others. This is uh, how it works. And uh, very promising Americas as well. So 
do you move towards more of consolidation in terms of uh, uh, having more boutiques as an experience for the customers? You know, the the, the but at, at Zenith, uh, the the way the brand is, you know, we're not a small brand. We are a, a big, medium, big size. We are growing every year, and at this stage of Zenith, we continue to work with partners. But we will continue to work with the best partners. We, okay. The objective is not to increase our distribution drastically. We want to make sure we, we, are, we remain with the best and identify the best as well in order to continue to develop the brand. Partners, the partners have been very important for the development of the brand for many years and will remain. However, in uh, given the opportunity and some markets, we will continue as well our retail development. Retail is important for to continue the development of the brand. It's, uh, at Zenit, we will, we will have and we have the retail working well and the partners with wholesale working very well. Okay. So that's important. For example, we have uh, 50 boutiques in the world. This year we'll be opening six or seven boutiques. Oh, you would open we six will or open seven. six or seven, and uh, we are closing some some boutiques as well. That you know the rent, the, the rent, or and different location, all that. We are uh, located in the best malls in the world, in China, in Europe, in France, in Paris, for example, and and the like, and Dubai, and uh, so far so good, so far so good. But we will have both. You will have we still, we have already retail. We continue to develop that. And we have wholesale partner with whom we continue because they're important. Their business is important for us. For India, and for India, the same, exactly the same strategy. We are, you know, we we already work with the, amongst the best in in India. We're very happy with the partnership we have in India today. There is room for growth, absolutely. You know, uh, India evolves very fast, as you know. In the, the the market of India is a growing market as well. So we will continue to grow with the market. For the last two, three years, we have grown more than the market in India. So uh, we're in good shape and um, you will probably see two or three, uh, maybe four additional uh, POS in India this year. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Not boutiques, but uh, additional, you know, good space in the boutiques. Yeah. Okay, good. And uh, I have yet to see, I'm admiring your watch, which is on your wrist, but <laughs> what is new and uh, what is happening as far as 2024 is concerned. So uh, Watch and Wonders is a very important milestone in the watch industry. Sure. Uh, we decided to uh, launch and to present during Watch and Wonders our uh, core uh, launch. And we are launching the DeFi Skyline Chronograph. DeFi Skyline Chronograph. Okay. DeFi Skyline Chronograph. And this is, it comes in blue and black and white. Uh, it's a chronograph, uh, you know, of course, it's an El Primero, you know, Zenit is known. Zenit were the first one to do the chronograph movement, the first one to create that a long time ago in 1969. They are ex the, the movement is extremely uh, advanced because it turns in one tenth of a second. I don't know if you can see the one tenth of a So that means it, it turns in one tenth of a uh, ten second. It does a, a complete turnaround of the dial. It's a... Uh, an open back case. Mm -hmm. The dial has the Zenith. Um, the dial has the Zenith star because you know Zenith is all about the star. And then the beauty in the back is you can see the star. And even on top of that, you have very easily removable bracelets. And this you remove the bracelet very, very, very easily, and you can see the star of the movement behind of El Primero. And then you can put back the strap like this in a very easy way, very easy way like this, and. It comes with two straps. Oh, you have another? I have another strap, which is a green one. I have all the colors you want, red, uh, yellow, blue, black. Uh, it comes along? It comes along. It comes along. And as you see, it's very easy. Today, you're wearing wear. So that's why I chose the, the green one. Green one. The, okay. the green one, because you re you're wearing green one. But if you're and wearing... This is going along with me back home to India? If you wish. Um, if you wish. Um, okay. if, but it might be too big for you, though. Oh, yeah, but it might be too big for you. You know, no, have, yeah, it might be too big. <laughs> So this is the launch is the uh, the Zenith the, the fire chronograph with of course El Premier movement, and not then this is not limited edition. But you know the beauty of Zenith, uh, we are limited by our production, so we we, we cannot produce uh, thousands of, uh, of, uh, of of watches. We uh, select uh, certain quantities, and then we work on them around that. Then depending on as well on the demand. In during the year, we can increase a little bit the quantity, but not that much because there's so much we can produce. And at Zenith, the demand is much bigger, so we sell what we produce. Therefore, we have to, to do it. It's a very complicated uh, thing to do to make sure that we produce enough 
to satisfy the demand of our customers, but as well to be able to have enough in our uh, boutique as well. So this is a very specific formula on that. Yeah. So this is the chronograph, um, the five Skyline chronograph. Then we decided to to reenact or to 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 revive that uh, that model here. And this is what we call the DeFi revival. So that watch was created in 1969. It's a 600. It was supposed to be the most robust watch of the area. And that's why it was called the safe, actually. Safe. The safe, like a safe deposit box, very unbreakable. Okay. They used to strap them on boats and making them, you know, uh, under extreme condition. The, the owner of, of the, the company to test the watches with journalists, he used to throw them by the balcony to see, see how, 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 how solid is my watch. And they would go down and check the watch and the watch was very solid. So this is where we got inspired to create uh, the, the diving, the, the diver's watch that I will share with you. But if you bear with me a couple of details here. So this is the new one based on the old one, very similar, still 600 meter and as well with an open back case. 600 meter watch, uh, waterproof watch with an open back case is very unusual, but this is uh, a proof of solidity, a proof of uh, quality. And because quality is very important at Zenit, uh, we test our watches at 750 meters. Okay. We could do them and put 750, mm -hmm. but we always keep a margin of, uh, of quality. And this is a lot, you know, in terms of pressure between 600 and 750, that's a lot of pressure, a lot sure. of uh, pressure on the, on the whole watch. Mm -hmm. From that, we derived and we created what we call the diver's watch. So this is the uh, 1969 version, which has now been relaunched as Defy Revival. Right? That's exactly it. Yeah, That's this is a 600 meter yes. waterproof. Water. Exactly. This is another version. That's, an, that's another version. That's the new version of this 2024. Is new, right? This is new, okay. but this came and was created in 1969. Correct. Okay. And the small anecdotes, I'll tell you a small anecdote. It's waterproof 600 meter and the 600 meter is one, 1,969 feet. Okay. And it was created in 1,969. One, one, one so this is a little anecdote. And therefore, as a result of that, pardon. But this is like two color for, you know, this is not usual for Zenith. This is like a no, very bright color. It's right? very bright color because it's supposed to be very sturdy, very visible. It's a very tough and robust, uh, robust watch. And how many mm is that? This is a 40, uh, 39 mm. Yeah. Oh, 39 yeah, 39. Yeah. And therefore, we created the, we created that one, and this is the uh, divers of uh, the, the the salon as well. So it's a very um, it has all the feature and beyond the feature of uh, a standard. It's beyond the standard di di divers watch. Why? Because first of all, you have the helium, you know, yes. the escape helium uh, helium valve here. Secondly, this is a ceramic bezel, but very specifically and very complicated to do is dented, you know, it's dented. So when you dive, you have your glove, you can turn it very quickly, very easily because it grabs very easily. Mm -hmm. Then secondly, the hands are very big. So at night uh, or is the water is murky, it's um, that you can see exactly if, um, if uh, the, the, the time and all that. The Super Luminova with, I don't have if you have a light here, a small light, I could show you the Super Luminova, which is something. Uh, we'll, get, we'll get it for you, we'll get it for you. And then this is very important. Uh, let's see. I uh, know, it will show you with a better, we'll show you with a better light. And there, and again, another feature, the dial has, you know, the uh, star on the, di the dial, Zenith star on it. It comes with three straps. It's a titanium watch, so it comes with the titanium strap. This is steel. This is steel, yeah. The other one, uh, this is titanium. This is titanium and this one is also And this is steel. So this is titanium, it comes with three straps. The first straps that it comes, it comes with the rubber strap. The color you want, you can have blue, you can have green, very easily, uh, you can put it very easily and remove so it. The rubber color. straps. Rubber strap. This is the first strap. The second strap, it comes with the metal strap okay. in titanium that is very similar to this one. I would take the beauty, they work on both watches. And you can put it like this, you see what I mean? You can put oh, it so like this. Watch collector, it's... Exactly. And this is a very good feedback we got from the collectors. I'm and sure. then, very interestingly, we have created... Uh, this is the... Um, merci. And this is the... Uh, oops. And this is the oh. Super Luminova I was sharing with you. So okay. the Super Luminova is on the bezel, okay. but as well in the inside of the watch. And you see you have the, the big hands, so 
you know exactly where um, where you are. Very nice. So this is, and it's very visible, very visible if the water is murky as well. And for a diving swatch, it has an open back case as well, and it's waterproof 600 meter. Again, these watches are tested at 750, okay. which would, normally it's, uh, it's already a lot 600, but we want to make sure that we provide quality to, uh, to, uh, to our customers. And then I was telling you, it comes with the third strap. The third strap is very interesting because it's like a strap, a long strap that you use over your wetsuits. Yeah, so it's sure. very easy. You strap it like this. Uh, you put it on this like this. There are small hooks that come in, and then you can put it on your uh, on your wet on on your wetsuit. But the particularity of that strap, it's fishnets. Okay. It's recycled fishnets. So we went and we captured old fishnet under the sea, and we treated them, and it's 100% recycled uh, recycled strap, 100% recycled. And this is our share as well because you know CSR is very important for Zenit and it's something that we value and cherish in our company and uh, this is as well a very interesting a very interesting very interesting strap so this is the the the, the, the defi skyline launch of uh, the salon three specific absolutely collection. three specific uh, collection the same line of collection because it's all about oh, defi no. it's all about defi it's all uh, streamlined and all that but we have other things coming that we will not share at this time we have that we will continue to share across the year in the in the, in the next couple uh, couple of months it's uh, fabulous yeah so it's it's doing very well congratulations thank you it's doing very well you know we have uh, the response, response very good beyond our expectations you okay. know uh, my first day on tuesday i was you know i said oh my god how's it gonna go at uh, tuesday yeah, two o'clock so yeah my so first one exactly yeah. And the uh, first time as a CEO as well, I was a little bit scared, you know, all the team was all ready and all that. And that's noon, one o'clock PM, we had, that's it. We knew it's going to work and that's it. And since then, we have not stopped. That's why I came a bit late today. I'm sorry. No, no, <laughs> fabulous, but, fabulous. Of course, it's Zenit. But uh, you know, the color element is also adding that much on Zenit. It's, it's complementing. Absolutely. It Absolutely. was always power on the wrist, but now you have style and power on the wrist. Absolutely. And you know, it's exactly what you say is very, very true. At Zenit, we offer a lot of watch for the money. You know, we, we offer here an El Primero, the first chronograph that was created. You know, El, El Primero has a, a 2,400 chronometry prices, prices of chronometry. Not a lot of brands have this. And we, indeed, we offer a lot of watch for the money. Mm -hmm. And this is good for professional or people who are getting into the real, uh, into the real watchmaking and, uh, and, and luxury watchmaking. This is a very good uh, compromise in terms of quality and price, but it's not even a compromise. It's beyond a compromise because sure. it's, it's real quality. And this is very important. Having said that, Zenit is 159 years old. Okay. Tomorrow, next year, we will celebrate our 160 year. And this is a very important milestone for the brands. But that's okay. There are a few brands that are 160 years old. Thanks God, and we're happy with that. However, there are even fewer brands who can celebrate 160, but fewer who remained in their factories. And true to, their roots. true to their roots. So if you visit the factory and invite you and your team to visit uh, and invite, I would like to uh, you watch. are welcome. I that's it unbelievable. Too. It will change your perspective of the brand. And you will see that in the manufacture, you have walls, pieces of wood, you have buildings that are 160 years old, 160 years old. And you will see that these, these, uh, these products and, this, and, and these, um, these walls are 160 years old and we don't have, not a lot of companies have, uh, have this privilege. And you will see that this the is where the walls. original was, despite the wars, despite the, 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 the disaster, the natural disaster, we have remained at the same place. And this is very, very unusual. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. With the experience that you bring on the table, I just want to just ask you to share with our men audience who want to dress themselves up uh, as a gentleman, as what are the do's and don'ts when you style yourself with a watch on your wrist? Like, you know, today you decided to wear this blue one, 
with a metal strap with a blue suit exactly uh, how how would you you know give uh, some tips to our listeners and the ones who are watching us wow. are you sure you want to ask me yes, <laughs> there are many other gentlemen in the oh, world no, that are better okay. than me that's you know okay. no, uh, i think uh, thank you very yeah. much but you know uh, first of all to to dress like a gentleman you have to be a gentleman sure that's the the first premise that's uh, for me it's very important and to be a, a gentleman it's it's easy to be a gentleman but you have to remain a gentleman then of course when i dress uh, i love to change watches okay i like every day i wear a new chain I, i can do it in my position i'm allowed to change watches so i take advantage of my position today to be able yesterday i had um, uh, had a white uh, a white dial the same one but in white, white dial. the day be, the day before was black why because i had a black suit with a black tie so I, i wore a black one so and it's always nice to match you know but the so particular color you think is a good idea to match not this? only not only color is important but as well the technicality okay. this watch is a one tenth of a second so it moves very fast people who know about watches and what and and the watch they will know It's a Zenith, and they will know the particularity of the watch. Oh, wow, nice Zenith, one tenth of a second. Oh, El Primero, and then you engage in a conversation. I was in a plane uh, on my way to China two weeks, uh, three weeks ago, and I was wearing my watch. Somebody uh, stopped me and said, "Didn't know who I was." Stopped me and they said, "Oh, you have a nice watch. Look at mine. It's a Zenith number X. I didn't even know the reference myself. Reference one, one, two. It has this and this and this feature. So that's why, as Zenith, you are naturally part of a, of a, of a club, of a club." of a family of a gentleman's club as well because the gentleman you know is part of something that you're proud of sharing as well so this is pretty uh, pretty interesting as well so basically you'll have to pay attention to your watch when you're dressing up absolutely so absolutely back, it's a car and absolutely you know it's the only thing we can do you know otherwise our dress is very boring you know uh, the way no, we not dress is <laughs> <it's not> boring <laughs> so that's the only accessory that we that we enjoy one of the very few accessories that we enjoy wearing as well do you have any favorite uh, go to for when it comes to your suits or favorite fragrance uh, you know for my for my suits given my athletic uh, body mm. i have my suit uh, handmade Okay. 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 Uh, so are the shirts. Okay. Given you know my yeah, my atle- my athletic uh, body, I'm just winking at you. Uh, but given the my, my, you know, it's nice to be to be well dressed. You know, if you if you want to be. I mean, uh, being a gentleman is the personality, but as well what you express. And uh, in an environment like luxury, you need to be well dressed as well. You know, and uh, so that's why I have most of my uh, clothes handmade, okay. uh, tailor made. Okay. Yeah, tailor made. Okay. Yeah, it's absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah, it's bespoke to my to my taste to my, to my taste right. and to yes. my uh, to my to the shape of my body. Yeah. yeah. And fragrance? Uh, fragrance. It depends on my mood. I have three different uh, fragrances. And which are they? It depends. I have uh, one Chanel blue. You know the blue uh, the blue Chanel. Okay. I have uh, Dior as well. Okay. Uh, Dior man. I forgot the, the name of the Dior man. And the third one is a very very small uh, go to. Perfume, uh, perfume person, uh, which I um, I buy is very similar to Aqua di Parma. You know, it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's similar to Aqua di Parma. Okay. Yeah, and, nice. and it, it depends on my mood. If I'm in a good mood, I wear this one. If I want to convey, but my wife knows the difference. You know, it's my mood on based on the perfume. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. We wait for you to arrive in India. I can't wait to be in India. I hope to be able uh, this year uh, to be able to come. But you know how India is close to my heart. Uh, You know that I have poor adoption in India, and uh, I cherish India as well. You know it's important, and I can't wait to be there. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Noah. Thank you. That's all from me on this episode. I'll be back with a new episode with a roundup of my favorite timepieces from this year's edition of Watches and Wonders 2024 very soon. Stay tuned, but bye for now. And. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram.